Hey and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future where we like to talk about technology from the past, present and future. Now today we're going to be talking about the TP-Link AC600 Nano Wireless Adapter. Now this little baby, it is absolutely beautiful and it is very very small indeed. We did talk about in our previous video we talked about this little baby. Now this is the TP-Link TLWN823N. I'll leave a link in the description regarding the review of this uh, wireless adapter. And this has got to be, if you're absolutely on a my budget, a very tight budget, this is great. You can get this for around $10 or so, um, or £10, depending on what country you're in. Now for a five dollars or five pounds more you can pick up the tp-link ac600 which is dual band it can do five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz on the five gigahertz it can do 433 megabits a second and on the 2.4 it can do up to 200 megabits a second so without further ado why don't we open this up Right, okay, so we'll slide this out. Oh, these are the uh, Windows drivers and the, oh, I forgot to mention, this is also Mac compliant as well. So as well as using it on a PC, uh, you can use this on a Mac. And if you're using a Hackintosh, even better, it will be able to talk to the Hackintosh and give you Wi-Fi. Now, um, these are the Windows and Mac drivers on CD. Now they give them on CD, obviously, because if you're setting up Wi-Fi drivers, in order to get access to the internet, you need to have drivers either on some kind of storage format, DVD is the best. You can't download them off the internet because theoretically you couldn't get internet if you didn't have the drivers. You get my, you know, it's a chicken or the, uh, egg type scenario so that's why they still give a uh, driver disc for these and uh, there we have um, a set of generic windows instructions and some uh, warranty paper and uh, here we have the little baby right there now this thing is so small it is about I think one I'll say about one and a half centimeters in width. This is nothing. So, if you were going to use it with a laptop, now say for example, I've got a laptop and the inbuilt Wi Fi device was either faulty, i.e., not working or too slow, I could just pop this in to the Wi Fi, I mean, to the USB connector. And look at that, it doesn't really stick out that much, does it? I mean, if I was to use the TP-Link WN823, just type fit this one. You see, that sticks out too much. That can get knocked onto a corner or anything like that. And it looks kind of ugly, but um, you put that one back in. Doesn't look too bad at all, does it? So, um, we'll take that back out. So it's great for using it on a mobile uh, laptop device. Now, uh, on Windows 10, which is what I've got it on here, this should be plug and play. So what I've got is I've linked, uh, I've got my uh, PC linked up to an extender. And if I pop it in there, it should, connect straight away and if you see that little light that's all plug and play baby didn't even have to install any drivers that's all connected now what I've done is I've done a speed test now my internet speed um, you know it it's decent it's decent so I'll show you the speed when I plugged in the old uh, TP-Link TLWN823N and we can look at the speed on that. Right, you could 
could see that I'd hit around about 40 megs a second. Now we're going to try it with the TP-Link AC600. See, there was a bit of a there's like a, almost a 20 meg speed difference so for five pounds more it's definitely 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 worth getting this little baby uh, for different now if you wanted to install the drivers say if you've got an older version of Windows we'll see a quick video on how you do that <laughs> Um, now that we've got all that over with, what are my uh, impressions of the TP-Link AC600? I think this is a brilliant buy for a dual channel uh, USB Wi-Fi adapter. It's small, it's not encroaching, you can use it on a laptop without uh, fear of getting it knocked. Uh, very, very good. Um, also, the fact that my uh, internet speed, I mean it's fairly decent, nothing outrageously fast but if you do have faster internet it's worth spending a little bit more and getting something like this to um, you know so you can enjoy the downloads um, I mean the thing is if I had this I'd be wasting all that money uh, with my internet provider because I wouldn't be able to use the full bandwidth of it I mean this was giving me what 40 uh, megs a second it's interesting though um, because of my internet uh, service provider my maximum up load limit is 80 megs a second so upload wise they're all the same but download this has the advantage um, so for five pounds more definitely the Archer T2U Nano is a good buy and what I'll be doing is I'll be leaving uh, Amazon affiliate links in the description if you want to go check them out by all means if you think you need either one of them you can buy them it helps out because it's an affiliate link it helps out the channel it doesn't cost you a penny just uh, Amazon sorts me out at the back end um, that's how it basically works and I'll leave a link for this video as well uh, the review for the TLWN823N it's a bit of a mouthful uh, if you want to check that video out as well so guys and girls I hope you enjoyed this video Please like, subscribe, leave comments. If you're going to subscribe, hit the bell notification button. Feel free to join me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I'll see all you guys and girls in the future if there is one.